Um, in this video, I'm going to be solving three different problems, which involves the which involves the two different molar equations. The the first equation I'm going to be using is the one that links moles concentration and volume, and the second equation I'm going to be using is the equation which links moles mass and molar mass. So both of these equations are going to be used to solve the different problems which are in this video. Okay first problem um, I hope you like my makeshift periodic table I've got here anyway first question what mass of sodium hydroxide needs to be dissolved in 50 centimeters cubed of water to make a 2 moles per dm cubed solution okay the first thing I'm gonna do here is identify what values I've been what things I've been given right okay first of all what mass of sodium hydroxide now I know that the formula of sodium hydroxide is NaOH and I have a periodic table somewhat so I can use this to work out the molar mass so from this the molar mass is going to be well it's going to be 23 plus 16 plus 1 and that gives me um, Three plus sixteen plus one. I could probably work that on there, but anyway, this is this gives me a molar mass of forty, and since this molar mass is going to have units, so it's going to be forty grams per mole. Minus one. There we go. So we know that the molar mass, the molar mass, which is represented by um, big M molar mass equals 40 grams per mole okay let's go through this 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 question what else do we know we know the volume the volume is 50 centimeters cubed and I'm gonna just convert this quickly to decimeters cubed so that is uh, it's easier to work with so 50 divided by 1000 because we divided by 1000 to convert to decimeters cubed if it's in centimeters cubed equals and to convert this, well, the decimal point is going to shift three places, so it's going to go um, one, two, three. So it's going to be zero point zero five. Yeah, zero point zero five. Um, let me write it down here. Uh, volume equals zero point zero five grams per mole. No, 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 no. Oh my gosh, what am I doing? Zero point zero five decimeters cubed. Yeah okay so what else do we know we also know the the concentration and that's two moles per dm cubed so we know two two we because we know volume and concentration we can first use the equation moles equals concentration multiplied by volume to work out the uh mole number of moles so that's the first thing i'm going to do the number of moles, so moles, um, I represent this by N, number of moles, N, equals concentration times volume, so 2 multiplied by 0 0.05, and that equals 0 0.1, so the number of moles is 0 0.1, 0 0.1 moles, there we go. Now we have the moles, and we have the molar mass. And as you may already know, mass is equal to molar mass multiplied by number of moles. So all I need to do is multiply this by this. And all, well, 0 0.1, if you multiply something by 0 0.1, all it's going to do is basically divide by 10. So my answer, 40 multiplied by 0 0.1, is going to be equal to 4. Therefore, mass. This is the answer, by the way. The mass is equal to 4 grams. And that's, that's it. <laughs> it's quite easy. 4 grams. So hopefully, by the end of this video, you, you have quite a good idea of how we can use these, these, this, this, this manipulation to work out any sort of problem. 
Now, the molecular formula of sodium oxide is Na2O. Na2O. So we know the molar mass. Well, we don't know the molar mass yet, but we know <laughs> we know the, the the molecular formula which we can use to find the molar mass. So let me just add up the relative atomic masses from the periodic table here and here to find out what the molar mass big M is equal to. Big M and bear in mind that this big M that I'm using is 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 not um or more per dm cubed because sometimes it, it, the two can get mixed up big m re represents molar mass and it also represents the um one mole per dm cubed but in in this i'm just going to use it to represent molar mass so big m is equal to na2o so that's 23 times 2 that would be 46 plus 16.0 and that is equal to, let me just work this out. So 16 plus, which equals to, which is equal to 62. And since it's molar mass, we're going to have the units, which is grams per mole. Okay. We're trying to find out the mass. Well, what else do we know? We have the volume. And we also have the concentration, 0 0.8 moles per dm cube to, of, of, uh, to make a 0 0.8 moles per dm cube solution. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is rather than you convert this to um, volume in a previous step and then use that new volume, I'm just going to use the equation which I, which I um, used, showed you in the, in the video which talked about converting no no which talked about the link between n c and v so the equation i'm going to use is the one that moles equals concentration times volume with is in cm cubed divided by 1000 so that's what i'm going to use so number of moles um n is equal to um 75 this being the volume multiplied by 0 0.8 divided by thousand and that equals that equals zero point zero six moles okay so now I have the molar mass and I have the number of moles so I can use that equation that mass equals moles multiplied by molar mass so let me just use that now so the mass equals 62 multiplied by 0 0.06 which is equal to 62 multiplied by 0 0.06 you see 3.27 no 3.72 3.72 and that's going to be in grams. So that's our answer. 3.72 grams, the mass of sodium oxide, which we need to dissolve. Okay, next question. You may notice there's no periodic table for this question because um, we're not dealing, we don't need to deal with elements here. We just need to present the molar mass as a number. Right. Okay, let me read out the question. A solution is made by dissolving... 4.08 grams of a compound in 100 centimeters cubed of pure water. The solution has a concentration of 1.2 moles per dm cubed. What is the molar mass of the compound? Okay, the first thing I know is the mass. So mass, which is represented by small m, mass is equal to 4.08 grams. Right? And the compound is dissolved in this volume of water. So we know the volume and we know the concentration and I'm going to use the same equation I used in the last question. So the number of moles N would be equal to 100 multiplied by 1.2 divided by 1000. Okay, so let's do this. One, one, 100 
multiplied by 1.2 divided by 1000 and that's equal to 0 0.12 and um, moles, moles, units okay so we're trying to find out the molar mass and now we can use this mass and the number of moles so all we need to do now is divide because the um, if we were to rearrange the equation that m equals um, n times big M um, big M equals the mass divided by the number of moles so big M here is gonna be 4.08 divided by 0.12 let's find out what this is 4.08 4.08 divided by 0.12 equals 34 34 and that's going to be um, in grams per mole um, and that's it I hope you understand how you can use the two equations to solve problems which involve like using both manipulating both of these equations and well, that's the end of the video.